Um, I would like to welcome you to today's lecture and debate on the city beyond architecture. Uh, so we will uh, start off with a presentation of the field office work by Sheng Yuang Huang. Um, and this will be followed by a debate uh, with Alessandro Martinelli, uh, the author of the book, The City Beyond Architecture, which focuses on the field office uh, in Taiwan, um, as well as uh, the participation of Chuang Xuing Wang, the curator Hi. of the field office uh, exhibitions in the Biennale di Venezia. Um, and to close off the session, we will also have a quick Q&A um, after the debate. Uh, so please let me introduce uh, the three uh, panelists and speakers for today. Uh, the first will be starting off with Sheng Yuang Huang, uh, who also holds uh, degrees in architectures from both the Huang University in Taiwan, um, as well as Yale University in the States. Uh, so before uh, returning to uh, Taiwan, uh, Sheng worked uh, as an Associate, uh, a project associate for Eric Owen Moss Architects and also taught at the North Carolina State University. Um, while he advocates for freedom in the process and the shape of architectural design, for more than 20 years, uh, his work has focused on a specific single township in Taiwan, which is called Yilian. So Sheng launched the architectural office, field office in 1994 upon his return to Taiwan. Um, and it's both an architectural practice and a way of living uh, where the people in the office integrate um, with the place by carrying on an everyday life that is absolutely genuine and related to the on-site context. Um, so after Sheng's uh, lecture, we'll be having a discussion uh, with Alessandro Martinelli, um, who has been in involved in research projects and teaching all around the world. Um, and today he is an assistant professor in the Department of Landscape Architecture at Chinese Culture University in Taipei um, and works with BS architects on architectural and curatorial projects that in public space today. Um, and his focus, let's say, in research is on the contemporary urban condition. Uh, and finally, uh, we also have with us uh, Chung Chuang Yuang. Uh, who is the chairman of the Department of Architecture at the Shi Tian University in Taiwan. Uh, he's also the chief editor of Architecture and Technonics, Technonics Taiwan magazine, uh, as well as the president for the Alliance for Architectural Modernity um, and a member of the National Historic Monuments Preservation and Conservation Commun Commission for the Ministry of Culture in Taiwan. Um, and finally, he's also the consultant for a series of redevelopments in Taipei and Shinshu. Uh, so please help me welcome them. So if you guys would like I, to start. Yeah, we share the PPT, I think. It's okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Can you see our PPT now? Yes, we can. Can you listen to my voice? Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. It's perfect. Yeah, here goes. Yeah, my voice is a little bit low. Is that clear? Clear enough in, in this amount? It's perfect. Okay. 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 I think so we can start. Please. Okay, thank you. So, because, uh, oh, well, I'm, I'm very happy to, to have a chance to share with you my life actually in the and then Taiwan. So I, I guess not many people come to Taiwan before. So I prepare around like uh, around 250 slides. So it must be go very fast. I think it's a it's the only way to to give you guys a, a, a comprehensive understanding. So don't worry about if you didn't really catch each of the images. I try to read it as, as precisely. So with, with I need to keep in all of this presentation in 40 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so the voice is 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 okay, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, Taiwan is an amazing place. The climate is mild and the landscape is always green. The democracy is not totally mature yet, but we still have the opportunity to decide it on our own lives. Protected by the snow mountain and the central mountain, Ilan luckily has not been overdeveloped. Ilan is the, the county 
uh, where my office is settled down. Okay. The land young plan has 460,000 people. It's an agricultural land about the same size as Taiwan's capital, Taipei. It's raining, independent, embracing the monsoon with courage. So Elan's people have the tradition of being rebellious. Turtle and the snake guard the sea is the beautiful legend here. As you know, I was born in 1963 and I grew up in Taipei City. That Taiwan, at that time, Taiwan was still under the martial law control. It means when I was in university, Taiwan is, the, is still very rigid. In 1989, I left Taiwan for the first time. And I went to study at Yale. After graduated, I moved to Los Angeles, worked for Eric Moss for two years, and then moved again to North Carolina State University to teach. But go through all of this, I still not find the freedom that I thought I would find before I go abroad. In 1993, I returned to Taiwan. Over the next 20 years, I slowly learned that freedom has no shortcut. It requires everyone to practice in their own little way. 1994, I settled in Ilan and started our practice. We live together and complete our first project. It's only a basketball court. In the past 25 years, in order to do on-site design, almost all of our work is done within 30 minutes driving distance. We began by learning on a tiny construction site to fix and little things around us. In the first public competition, we boldly advised the government to move their big organization to decline Riverside and to design their complex at a residential scale. In order to ex extend to the Riverside, transportation and the river, the transportation code and the river code has to be overcome first. We know it's, it, is, it was useless to complain. So we decided to solve the problems in surrounding Old Town first. Three years later, the county government helped us to re-justify the urban planning so we can save the old temple that was going to be demolished and uh, we reclaimed the beauty of greenery also. Using earth from the ex excavation of parking lots to create the old Adobe city wall back. Because we had already prepared our studies, when suddenly the central government has available, available funding, we could be ready with relatively mature proposals. So for example, we propose a skywalk that follows the trees, span over the dangerous highway and connect to the river dikes. But you know, so although we haven't had money to fix the alley connected to the old town, but when we are waiting, we can still study the water flow calculations, the, the flow calculations, and uh, figure out how to change the river section. So three years later, we finally turned the concrete dikes into a beautiful grass slope. The river was become more beautiful later, but it's still missing a walkway of kids to cross safely. In the two years while we are waiting and working hard to find other possibilities, we first clean up the alleys. After waiting for 10 years, we were finally able to cut down the high wall of the Thai power and let the greeneries into the community alley. We plant trees just like a neighbor the next door, and it show the section the sectional views of the wall. Today, everybody can easily come to the social welfare center from the old town by crossing the little alley. So many government officers working here, 
we revive local craftsmanship with local materials. It's just like a vertical village, always welcome neighbors to pass things through. We've also built a water level observation tower to prepare a footing for the skywalk. Otherwise, we cannot build any towers. So after 13 years later, we finally create an even bigger plan, which allowed us some fundings for linking to the other side of the river. But we still have a trouble. The old river code says we cannot plant trees. So what we can do is we use the live willows as the embankment piles first. So all these piles grow into large trees a few years later. Then we can say it's not illegal. Structural elements reflect the car lights, making the bridge looking like a, like a sway reef. We came up with the low-tech semi-attached system to not, interfe not interfere the old bridge protecting old people and children so they can cross the river with smile. While cross the river, we can more closer and more understanding. Overcoming fears against the procedure frameworks. Now I finally began to feel a little sense of freedom. The best motivation for living happily is to solve others' problems. It was just uh, like uh, sowing seeds and waiting for it to grow. Thanks to understanding reality, more than 20 actions slowly grew and which reflecting the nourishment from each of the net. To overcome the problem of having no maintenance budget, slowing down, we actually got a chance to achieve a new quality we had not imagined before. Students and the seniors are often pushed away by the business parking lot in front of the train station. To protect the public space from being altered legally by the powerful private interest. The amplifier structure was intended to be big enough so that no political party, any, any kind of political party, would demolish it. And uh, at that kind of a risk of being criticized for wasting public money. The super popular artist Jimmy was invited to collaborate so which attracts lots of people to the plaza to ensure the emptiness of this public space. We also want to recess the park to flood retention and save the land for living creatures. Luckily, the mayor left the position not longer after.
between two water channels, an old bank was, in, was turned into an art museum, which next to the big market with friendly vegetable yard. The music, the museum roofs is open, so everyone can come up to see how their hometown is changing. Walking further toward the river, we also res rescued the Ilan Distillery. Rather than emptying it, become a cultural park, pipes and the tanks are placed to introduce their new function. The original industry is safe, and all employees also don't lose their jobs. We cut down the wall again, and uh, all of the primary school students can safely walk by the land in between the half wall and the warehouse. Uh, it was a tragic summer. We became devoted to learn about flood control. Water is the soul of Ilan. Opening up the irrigation channels over by rows, covered by rows, it begins as the homework from a primary school teacher. If we can open up the moats. Our colleagues spent over a year climbing underground and smelling the water to make sure the water quality report is true or not. Borrowing land, we're shifting the waterways from roads to not impact original traffic. Otherwise, we we'll always lose. With the original water channels underground, so rainwater capacity was increased to three times. So all of the usually the elevation of the yeah. elevation in cities usually pile higher and higher but the irrigation water passing through the city never changed their level. To expose the original water level also exposed the beauty of the old town. Respecting agricultural water use rather than nostalgia. We never come up with the big idea first. But we knew we had to come up with the kind of a statement to, motiv to motivate citizens and the review committee to support. We like to make big models that are not afraid of looking real. Hoping people and workers can understand easily. Now, we begin to challenge the third vascular bundles. We recommended recessing the teacher's parking further inward, floating echo walkway, grow above the ground, and the temporary fence disappear after. To protect the roots, the earth of the pedestrian foundation was digged out by hand. After the, rail, rail, the railway tracks were elevated, we convinced the railroad authority not to hand over the embankment to the city. Otherwise, they usually only become a car lens without any imagination. Preserving the barriers, keeping the direction of the city, and the many, and the, and also keep the many futures possibilities. For now, it's a three kilometers community park, and this belt also provides shelter from rain. Find opportunities, learn while we do it. We also learn about the civil engineer, flood control, and the traffic control. Being young and sincere, people from different professions will come to teach us.
Okay, we come back. Cross the line, the Lanyang Creek. We come to another town, Luodong, which is south and also 15 minutes drive from my office. Luodong is a city that grew from the timber industry. We started the grid canopy and the four small projects to reshape the alleys and the water system, just like another city we mentioned before. The older generation in Luodong always want to reclaim the glory of big factory that were everywhere. But we know if we're only simply adding indoor cultural facilities, it's not a feasible. Suspended the art museum and keep the middle section empty. So every small activities will support each other. Looking up from the plaza under the grid canopy, just like uh, watching the floating locks in the storage pond recalling the romantic memories in history. Set in the pond, we're waiting for the evening wind from mountain to reduce, to reduce the temperature of the plaza. Absolute straight artificial data line allow the beautiful landscape to be appreciated by people. Technology is used to awaken resistance. Thanks to our young colleagues who use their body sense to imagine a civic space that is inviting. In 14 years, the government changed twice and we even need to face three county magistrates and they appointed seven totally different cultural directors. The most uh, unusual and the challenging part must be built first, otherwise it will be killed in the process. And we know the process must be very open and transparent. We insist that all projects need to understand the demand from the different generations. This is a gift for everyone to enjoy the equality of being able to stay on the roof of the city. For continuous eight years, invited students from Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan to share their thesis design together. We rocked on the grass slopes together, make a turn, we listen to Taiwanese opera with hundreds of families. Although sometimes we still run into strange difficulties such as the political hostility but our young architects never withdraw and never give up. If we can not do anything now, we keep it inside our hearts and wait. In the last 14 years, we used the excuse for creating markets to make democratic canopies. They are too open to control. Taiwanese respect sports and education. We would walk, we build the walkways in the form of sports track so they do not get occupied by scooters.
People living in the city often think we live in an efficient life, but we easily forget the sign of loose balance. Elan's people are still lucky because we can still move in and out between the urban and the rural. Field office dormitory and office are close to an old village. We commit to learn how to settle down generation by generation. We order local food. Our colleagues can keep healthy easily. In the summer nights after harvest, students from all over the world watch a movie behind the office and slowly become their friends in life. Real trees and model trees spread out everywhere in the office.
I like to explore, to feel the wild land. Different landscape reminds me different values of life. Slowly, we began to have some projects around the river, coast, and the mountain. For example, to make the government building like mountain and to make it too complex to be closed. I think about why great dream always made side effects. Like kamikaze suicide kids have come and gone. And the reflect side effect of, per, of pursuing high quality. The public toilet beside river should be relaxing enough. Elan's natural seaside was often flattened to be to build industrial and science park. Fifteen years ago, we started to study in the ocean. Now we have seven architecture actions on the coast in different scales. We first built the shelters at the hollow artificial sand dune and made it parallel to the sea coast. And then we looked for new material to house incinerated garbages every year and uh, try to pile it back the multiple layer sand dune step by step for the next 12 years. We hope our young colleagues can realize architects can also contribute to the repair of geography. learning to design five kilometers winding, winding path. The local imagination should be better than rush the tourism. To encourage government to tolerate illegal occupied farming, showing a new order of beauty, but also to keep opportunities for the future. Hope our children can survive with different beliefs and the baby ear catching cluster will appear with dignity year after year. Inviting sand, water, and humanity in enter the fluid space, make friends with extreme weather. Interaction with filmmaker Cai Mingliang and his film. Inviting everybody to experience the time at a different speed to enjoy freedom. Gazing the relationship between national defense and the coast. We will never surrender. Climbing to the roof and listening to the power waves. Do you still remember the legend? Turtle and the snake guard the sea.
Ilan is not just a plain. We have an ocean, but also high mountains. In order to find the healing strategies for the overdeveloped here, we accept a design and equal cemetery. 15 years later, this cemetery will overtaken by plants. Architecture will slowly disappear, but the people will still remember their promise to each other. Learn from natural geology. Learn to cover the beauty of landscape temporarily to focus on the voice of eagles and the wind. And then the live sound of the creeks underneath the rock. Today, this cemetery even need a visitor center. Entry bridge and the mountain road became one. The most popular mount marathon hold down from here every year. Running to the highest trial, we prepare a simple spiritual artificial hill for the grave of Mr. Jiang Weish. More and more people like a like to run a concert here and uh, wait for shooting star, rainbows, and the uh, Formosa sunrise. Mr. Jiang Weishui is the pioneer of democracy of Taiwan during Japanese era. With the warm Turtle Island as a company, we face the spiritual estuary, which is the spot three rivers together so they can all to, to break through the sand dune. If there are endless possibilities for friendly space, then there should also be endless possibilities for intimacy among people.
This is the most frequent question I was asked. I would sincerely suggest it. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. You. I guess Alessandro, you're going to start with Yeah. Your... I will do a little technical change now because I need to shift computer and then we will pass to our Okay, and for me. Sorry for the audience. Can you hear us? Yes, we can. Okay. Now, more than a real debate, because we don't have that much time, what I would like to do is just to add a few questions to both Mr. Wang and Mr. Wang Chunxiong, so that uh, the people can have an understanding of additional things, because Taiwan is a very far away land, and the people may get uh, an image through the presentation of Mr. Wang, but they may lose some aspects which are very interesting and make the work of his even more deep somehow. Now, with this, um, I think to start, I need to give you two words of my own personal story and relationship with Taiwan. That is what finally brought me to write this book about uh, your work. That is, first uh, I arrived here, it was 2012. It was uh, more than eight years ago. And I don't know anything about Mr. Wang. And uh, it's not my first, uh, the first thing I got in love with Taiwan. But uh, I was very surprised by, by the place. You need to imagine that Taiwan, I will say something very dangerous now, uh, is a state. And, but it's big, it's big like a region for European people. Just, just you need to consider that Taiwan is big like Sicily. It's just like a very big island. And at the same time, it is also like a very big city, just one big city. And this big city is also a little bit strange because it's a big city where the agriculture, the water, the building, the activity all mix together on a, some kind of landscape which was designed um, at a certain time in history. And this was already astonishing me because like to have a so big city mixing with landscape, uh, you don't find it anywhere. Plus, on top of this, I was fascinated by the society you need to know that uh, Taiwanese people really like to live public space. And the second of all, uh, Taiwan people really like to participate in every kind of activity, including the political activity. The, the degree of participation is very strong. And uh, I always said that somehow it reminds me, if I talk about the society, like, it reminds me a piece of Europe out of Europe. And I arrived here like a, an academician, like I was like assistant professor, I was just finishing, I just finished my PhD and then um, I found this place and I want to write something about this space. And for a long time I've been wandering around because there are too many things to write and you don't have the perspective. And finally I found him. And um, the interesting thing of his work is that up to me, besides he's a great architect, is that it's been challenging and working together with the public space and the public facility and the public realm so long that actually his work talks about the history and talks about Taiwan. So up to me, the, the greatest of your work is that it's not just your work, but it's actually Taiwan. We can see through your work what Taiwan is, the way people live, the way people build the space together. Now, the interesting thing is that in Taiwan, there is not only 
Mr. Wang. Even he is like a, a very relevant person today, very well known. And there are many other young architects and there are also many other cities which are trying to inject a new quality in the public space and are also trying to develop a new sense of the city that um, as far as I know, it is harder to find in other places in Asia. Now, I would like to ask to you, yes. Mr. Wang, yes. because you are, uh, beside many of your position, also a consultant for the city development. You're also an important professor and you also drive the development of Taiwanese architecture. Can you talk about what is going on in these years and what is happening in the other cities? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, to, to, to work, work, work in Taiwan is quite, quite, quite happy, you know, you know, because it's a very uh, uh, active uh, place. And I think, you know, because the, 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 the democratic uh, 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 thing, you know, so uh, the, 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 the competition uh, between the cities is quite strong. So uh, now we now we have some some cities in in Taiwan. Uh, the the mayor they have uh, great uh, pressure, you know, to do the uh, right to do the to do the right thing. Even though they they you know you know they often do the wrong thing. So uh, 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 so sometimes we can find. Some some city they are so so strong in uh, in 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 uh, their, their their cityscape. Uh, uh, for for example, I you know you know I you know I think in the now day maybe uh, uh, Xin Xinzu uh, it, it, uh, is the best one, and the you know. Uh, the mayor of the, the city, he, he, he attracts uh, uh, a lot of good, good, good person to, to work for him. So uh, now the, you know, so, so now the, the city is uh, 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 going very uh, well. And the other one is uh, Kilong, you know, in the, you know, he used to be a, a seaport in, in Taiwan. The 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 the, 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 the biggest one, but you know you know you know but now you know the the city is quite small and uh, you need some, some you know you need the new new energy to to go into so uh, you know the the you know you know the the mayor he invite. You know, a lot of uh, good, good, uh, good person, in, including uh, uh, Alex, to to, to story. yeah, yeah, to work for the uh, city, and now and then, and then now it's going very very, very well. So, uh, so, so I think for me, the the democracy is very is is is, uh, uh, is very important for the development of uh, uh, of uh, architecture you know in the in the in the in the in the uh, in the uh, po in the post war uh, period in taiwan you know the 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 democracy uh, is very small so we don't have a strong you know uh, 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 many festival at a time, but but now you know uh, we we you know we think we already have. So we have uh, uh, some people just like uh, uh, Sun Huang. Yeah. There is one more thing that I would like to ask, yeah. and I also will tell one more things to the audience. Um, when I came here, I was also fascinated by one thing that I never seen in Europe. That is, there are, for some reason, since the, 2000, the mid of the 2000, competitions 
concerning the improvement of uh, landscape and public spaces over corridors which are four kilometers long, five kilometers long, <laughs> which is a kind of incredible thing because I never seen any city in uh, Europe which is uh, daring to try to change so long spaces and to improve the quality of public space. And as far as I know, um, there has been uh, what you call the Taiwan New Landscape Movement, yes, yes. which initiated in the mid of the 2000s. Yes. Can you briefly talk about this and this kind of new competition that you have? Yeah, you know, uh, you, know you know, I think, uh, you know, this thing is comes from, uh, you know, from the 1980s from Iran, yeah. and. You no, know, uh, Ilan is the same place. Same in one is more than yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, at that time we have a new new mayor there called 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 Ding Nan Chen. I, I mean, I mean he he initiated the you know this kind of uh, new new uh, uh, new image nation of the of uh, uh, for the uh, Taiwan. Uh, 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 landscape. So he invite uh, some young 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 architect to work for him and to initiate to initiate the, the program the site and the and the, to discover the beauty of the, the river and the the, the 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 mountain. So so he he so he opened the the eyes of. Uh, uh, of uh, of uh, Taiwanese, so we so we start to you know you know to know we you know you know we can do that not only a small uh, uh, building you know we we can do something about the the open land yeah so so I think uh, uh, Sun Wang he he you know you know he he got he he's a uh, idea from this way. Yes, because I you know I'm a student uh, before I came back to Taiwan. Is uh, all of the education we we educated in professional ways is also only a few bits, or like in the past, uh, the, the last we already did be limited. But I come back to the Ilan and find out wow, they have a public park, and the, the quality actually is is very good, better than the, the public. The, uh, after the the Chen Ding Nan, he's the, the the magistrate. He the quality of the project is better than the the, the private pro, uh, the the public project. Public project is better, better than the private yeah, project, yeah. which is which is out of our imagination before. So so which attract a lot of young people come to because you know, it's like uh, facing the public means like facing every single person. Yes, uh, where everybody represents kind of part of the public. So 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 that's that's what I say in the lecture I say it's a freedom. So so actually it's indeed not really a lot of free free imagination about that. not only the political it's like a, a lifestyle. Yeah I, I think the people can get a little bit the idea why I wrote I'm I wrote this book that will exit very soon which is called The City Beyond Architecture and talk mainly about his work and through his work about the Taiwan. But there is also another aspect that I would like to discuss, which I also, I discovered, I was fascinated with your work, which is not just about the size or the way in which the work combined with the public space and the public realm. It is also about the way in which you design. Um, we had several interviews and several discussions. I came very often to visit you at your office, which is very beautiful in the middle of the fields. And uh, once you surprise me very much because uh, you keep on repeating that uh, your work and your design for making friends with the people and uh, your design also help the people making friends. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you have this idea it's that true. you can raise some imagination yeah. or you can give some aesthetic feeling to the people and this aesthetic feeling is able to perform a social function. And this was like opening my eyes because like you never imagine that it's not like a, 
it's art, just it's real art, it's not participation, but it is uh, with a social function. Now, I would like that you, maybe, you can comment from where this idea of making friends come. And why <laughs> you use your design to making friends? How do you make friends? Yes, you have many friends. Yeah, I'm a friend with you. Yeah, with me, of course. <laughs> so, but my, well, it's, a, it's from my point of view, it's, a, it's just a facing reality. It's like, uh, if I don't have, I, if I don't have all of the friends, I cannot do anything. You know, it's just, I'm, I told you I was educated in a very, well, it's a kind of, well, I don't, I don't trust the government anyway, first. Yeah. I don't trust the, the, all the system. I don't, just like I feel it, it must have something real, you know, somewhere. But, but it's, it's too hard for this kind of stupid person to, you know, to, to only for studying or like, uh, it's, I, I feel the, the, I feel like every time I, I sincerely dealing with the friend, including, including my parents, my children, is that every, everybody could teach me a lot of real things and of which I feel like the, the real is power because the real is always help, help me to, to, you know, to find something something is it's really nobody can re reject so it means like if where i should hear there yeah, yeah, yeah. can you, you hear fine. me still is it's okay for can you hear michael me? are you still online yeah I, yes. I was muted oh, we can hear you perfectly yeah the yeah. voice you. is also loud enough it's perfect okay, okay great. great yeah yeah so well, well anyway anyway for and uh you know, and also another so real things is the projects. Just now you see all of the projects is definitely is not designed by me. It's not a design process. It's more like, uh, you know, it's, it's more like, uh, it's just a partially reveal people's dream in, in many, many different, different peoples. Like uh, all of dreams is, well, it's just like, a, and well, when I'm young, I thought, you know, the people, because I'm kind of educated to be that way. And I go to the different landscape of our Taiwan and even go abroad. I find out, oh my God, this, this is, the people are so different. And, and, the, and the, they are so different, but they are so similar. Some, some kind of fundamental demand are, are always the same. So, so go through everybody's struggle, you know, so it's a, it's a, my students struggle for uh, how to convince their parents they can do a good architecture design in the countryside, maybe better than the metropolitan area. It means it takes a lot of energy to convince and also to prove. And that they should, they need to invite their, their friends, their colleagues, their seniors to help them. So it means like, uh, uh, myself is possibly only a kind of uh, evidence to to try to be the evidence to show the friend just beside me, and uh, you can do you can do the you just trust what you think and you feel, and the people will help. That's that's my experience. So so uh, in the lecture you you feel like uh, all the projects takes very long for example like 14 years 10 years long. but for me it's a uh, it's enjoyment it's a it's a process to 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 get him free so so I just uh, i think it's the yeah because the there's also one information that the audience need to know that his process his projects are uh, always ongoing so it is not just that the process is designed and then it is built, but they design, they start to build, then you may find money or possibility to adjust or to change the project. Yes. And you may find opportunity to build other project closing. So somehow all of these projects are keep on going. And by this time, also many people are able to somehow I, participate. I guess, I guess if you want, it could happen everywhere. I hope so. I strongly yeah, I hope so. so. Yes, 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 yes. But if you just like uh, try to to be optimistic enough, 
So eventually it's come back, right? So and anyway, most of the people, uh, well, they just, uh, just uh, you know, if, if, if you set a very clearly a measurement scale to, to, to define the, what is success, successfully processed, it means like uh, to some level, sometimes we need to quit. But but if if you still be like me, so I can just well well in that if we're facing that trouble, I just uh, I try to try to talk to Professor Wang. Well, can you help me to do this? And and then or, and then I go to see it. And then eventually, somebody it's just like uh, you know somebody will help you. Not 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 because they want to help you. They want to help themselves because. If if what we what we're facing the real trouble in the in the community or in the society in the in the system, and you know, somebody need to just break it through, and uh, and we we could help each other to make the country. So it's um, well. So so I, I just simply say to make friend. Right? It means we need to you know, we need to just kind of trust it. Trust that we are also other person's good friend first, and and I usually, I usually, not choose. It's like I I I, I usually believe that the things should happen. It it will happen. So so as uh, as long as we as long as we general generate the issues, the the friends comes out. So so a lot of friends help. Yeah. Just, for example, like you. I know, I know. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> how, 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 how can, I, I don't have a European friends, yeah. People. Uh, there is one last question that I would like to give to Mr. Wang yes. that maybe helped me to, to make clear some things and then I will leave the, 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 the words to the other audience and also to Matilda and Marco to manage. Um, I remember that during the interview and some of the discussion that we had, you told me that because you have the same age and yeah. you study more or less in the same time, both in Taiwan yes. and uh, in the United yeah. States, yeah. even different uh, places. But it's more smart. No. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, you told me, <laughs> and um, you told me that at the time you were taught more or less two ways. The way of like abstract architecture, yes. which is a um, probably good one, and more elite and better. And there was like postmodern architecture. And then uh, when you came back and when he also came back, he also started to practice. You find out that he has another way, yeah. which is a little bit strange. But you think in the beginning you did not trust into that. No. But then you came to trust. Uh, you became friends yeah. out of this. Can you talk about oh, this? Trust me, I can't no. <laughs> you, can you talk about this further way? What is spatial in this design? You know, uh, you know. I think at that time is in the middle of uh, 19, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, You know, I, you know, I, you know, at that time I just really know him about two years, and uh, the thing is that you know I understand why he is the. Uh, talking about, but I just, you know, never have the chance to think about uh, uh, what you're gonna build in that way. I mean, you know, you know, because for him, I mean, uh, everything is um, is uncertain, and everything is is is, 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 is you know uh, is is possible, but but for me, I mean, uh, it's not. You know, it's not possible to to move forward. You know, in 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 you know in that way. But 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 he can. You know, he has no problem to move forward. You know, in that way. So I learned from him. I mean, you know, to see the things in a, in a different way. So. So I think maybe in the end of uh, 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 19, uh, uh, 19, uh, 1990s, so I, I feel I complete uh, 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 to know, I mean, what, you know, 
what you see is really are you, are you saying at the beginning you thought because we are too flexible yeah. to means the quality yeah. or like the history maybe not a move up it's yes, more yes, like yes. Uh, you can, uh, we just uh, justify ourselves to be just like uh, as yeah. before yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. i think you also thought in the beginning that you are a bit populist that you do things that people oh, too much. Really like yes, yeah, like um, just make people like us right? yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. more cute and maybe in the beginning oh, like, yeah yeah okay. you know you know you, you know well maybe at that time i'm, I'm only that level <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's also true you know you, you know in taiwan the in, in taiwan we have a word called it uh, drunk right that means uh pretend to be cute 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 cute, cute. I, you know you know you know i think in the beginning we feel you are just you know doing things that, you know that like just that like way but by but it's what to yeah yeah i mean i mean this real you you are so so how you know how can i say you are so lo love to talk to the people and and it's and and it's more than uh to be to be humble i mean you are really love to oh because we, <laughs> well, just like oh, i'm trying to survive yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's, it's it's not a good feeling to 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 be limited like it's like you just feel like another level you definitely find out that there are so many possibilities yeah, yeah. so much values and uh and I even, I even beginning, if I don't, I don't really change myself to learn from other friends, even including my, my colleagues, I feel like I, I, I don't, I worry about I'm, I'm going to be a bad person, you know, it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's just like you keep on, you know, sometimes you, you know, kind of, you help people to, to limit the people's possibilities, that's, that's evil. Right? Yeah, true, yeah, yes. yeah. Because the, the thing is that his work has got many metaphors. I mean, he built, he designed shelters in the like of a forest, or he designed elements that look like a tall grass. And sometimes it's very direct. And um, the discovery was that the, the, the real people can understand that. Well, that's, that's sometimes I just make a joke on the scholar. I think <laughs> I, I, like, I like to see their face, they, they get angry, and then and the suddenly they find but out. But he told me that in the beginning, <laughs> no trust, but no. then he said, oh, it works. <laughs> it's real, it works. Well, it's just that I think everybody needs to understand that the limitation. And it's just what I, we just uh, mm -hmm. un unconsciously be be well, be pushed in some way. So, just so I know, I know, I know, I know that popular is too popular. Is so at least it's it's really not a good taste. Sometimes <laughs> it's a, it's too too sweet or something like that too. But uh, but well, if that's that's one of the possibilities, yes. why not? Right? We why have not? Uh, we have many many other. It's not just that you work, of yes. course. They they be yes. The people like uh, very sweet things already suffer for a long time. So just a little bit, it should be okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. With this, we leave the ground to you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I want to also say I wrote in the chat, if anyone has questions that they'd like to ask, uh, please feel free to write them in the chat or uh, you can also, I think, raise your hand. Um, so thank you very much uh, for the presentation and uh, the discussion. Uh, I personally had, uh, yeah, we have Blacklist Creative Partners want to ask a question. Um, I was wait, a minute. wait a minute, we lost wait, wait the minute, sound, wait. we lost the sound. Wait a second. I'm just for the blacklist uh, partners. I'm going to ask a question and then I'll pass the word to you. Okay. Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, now yes, we yes, can hear. Sorry. Now no, it's good. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Uh, uh, I will start off with a question and then pass it on to the Blacklist Creative Partners, who that's obviously not their name, but um, welcome. Um, I was actually interested in uh, before Alessandro was was discussing um, this this concept. <coughs> making friends 
uh, in the project. And I think it's clear uh, that, that your process goes well beyond uh, what we would usually consider as like the basis for a collaborative design project because it goes beyond the relationship of the project in design, but also within the project's lifespan. Um, and I think that's really interesting. So you have like various moments where you cross over uh, with the people who inhabit the projects from the design with the, the children's drawings, um, but also, you know, like sharing the projects and, and movies within the project realm. Um, and, and I was wondering how, like beyond the concept of, of making friends, how do you think um, that the freedom that you design for helps build freedom, not just for the people, but uh, like through what you were saying before was realizing their dreams, but also build a cultural and environmental freedom uh, through the inhabitation of your projects. Well, it's like, uh, uh, I'm also on the, on the process. It means like, I can feel like I, I can, I also beginning, I, if I sincerely develop the quality of my life, I, and, and make, make some evidence for people feel, feel, uh, there's nothing to be impossible. You know, you know, it's just, the Ta Taiwan's, uh, Taiwan's political situation is we, we only have this kind of atmosphere around like 20 years. So at first we need to, to, to be brave enough to, to imagine. <laughs> so that's, that's what I always say, say to allow any kind of, uh, to, 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 to set free. And, and can you explain that? The, 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 she would like to know that she would just like you to spend more about uh, this idea of freedom. Yeah, freedom. Uh, the idea of freedom, but not only freedom of the people, but I saw like your, your projects are very environmentally sensitive as well. Okay. Yeah. So how, does, how do the projects give freedom also to maybe return or mitigate or respond to? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's also, I, I, I find out the our, the reason we we limit our imagination sometimes we misunderstand the other person's life. For example, like my students always tell me that oh the village is no person, no person living there, but they just wake up too late. Sometimes <laughs> the, the the farmers they wake up at five o'clock or four o'clock in the morning. So the so they they the, the way they look about the sun, the wave, the the ocean in a totally different way. And if we could like. Uh, uh, if we really can see out how the different world other people work, so they will they will teach me a lot of things. Which I, that's the reason at the beginning I learned something from them, like how to carve in the shadow, how to how to screen, and I learned, but on the very very surface. So, but but I think we we are a group of stupid people because we we're brave enough to show how limited we are. So there are more and more people to, to beginning to, to brave enough to learn out more people. So it means like, I think it's, it's, it's about the aesthetically or the uh, politically or like the people's relationship possibly change also. So, so that's basically, is, did I answer in this way? Matilda, I can add something that may help. There is another thing that you use sometimes to talk to me and it is connected to this. Uh, in the beginning, he was, he say always that he's very good friend also with all the other architects of uh, Ilan, and he does not really make competition with them because most of the time he takes care about the things that are in between. So more than to do a competition for a building or more to do the competition for something specific, he will try to find the chance to make the project in between yeah. And this means that he does this actually not only in between buildings, but he makes this also in between like uh, the city and the river. So he's been working on the riverfront as a way to allow the flood, and at the same time, the people to enjoy the space. He's been working on the dune, 
and the new museum, and then it has become a very long landscape park. So he has got this interest, just, but he's just like his interest. He starts from his <laughs> yeah, yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really likes to deal with well, it's things fun. in it's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. You'd say that the, well, the sand, the sand, the wet and the dry, it's, the color is different. And, uh, and I think about, well, if we put this idea in, into the museum, so it will kind of automatically keep the people's distance to the yes. artist piece, something like that. I just needed to, I think the human being has the special ability to, to like push ourselves to imagine two, two different, totally different things. If we respect the both of them, the same level, we always can find a, a new connection to each other. So it's, it's, it's create something new. That's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. It is that your work somehow, you're able to design the distance between the people, which is both the chance for the people or the nature and the people to meet, but also to live divided. It's very special. Yeah, that's, that's how I really think about seriously recently after the, the COVID-19. You know, so, so people are at the, the distance are kind of a beginning to not to be appreciated and maybe too much to appreciate sometimes. So like, uh, it's, it's, well, it's, uh, it's really a new challenge for me. You know, so it's like, uh, you know, it's like we, you know, we, we spend a lot of time to, to, you know, you know, the, you know you, you, did you see that we live together in, in field office? We, we even eat together, we harvest together, but people think that we are going to do, uh, a lot of things collectively, but totally, it's it's a wrong. This is a wrong interpretation. We basically so the way we are getting together is is, is try to be independent together. To, together. <laughs> so it's like a, they need to be support. Like like make sure people people are are, are different and uh, but uh, but they will support you. So so I think it's a it's it, this is a really good 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 issue. But I'm still. Well, I think I should learn. I, I, I can still think about a lot of things that I think re recently is, is, is a big challenge. Thank you. Uh, if the people from Blacklist would like to ask their question. Hello, can you hear us? Hello. Yes. So this is Jacobo and Matt from uh, List Lab. We are connected from Blacklist offices, which are actually 300 meters far from uh, the YAC. Um, we want to say hello to our guests in Taiwan. Thank you for the presentation, Mr. Wang. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mr. Wang. Thank you, Alessandro. Uh, we personally visited Taiwan last year and... Um, oh, really? It's Max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, okay. Yes, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were very fascinated by um, how the you elements... It so different in, in, in camera. We look different. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, well. <laughs> no, no, it was just a reflection. And um, of course, uh, we were uh, fascinated by how the elements of nature were integrated in uh, uh, the architecture, the interventions we see and we have seen uh, together in uh, Yilan, and uh, in particular the bridge, also for its. Uh, symbolic meaning and uh, the Luodong Cultural Center was impressing. Um, well, actually, we invite everybody to visit Taiwan if they have the opportunity as soon as this uh, pandemic is over, because uh, it's a beautiful country. And uh, <clears throat> uh, actually, the, the, for the mutual in influences and connections, the sea that divides China from Korea, Japan, and Taiwan is uh, also called the uh, Mediterranean of the of the East. Uh, it's a, a very inspiring place uh, in uh, in all senses. My question was more related to how um, uh, because we were. I was interested also in the messages you put uh, in the presentation, yes. like the thing, thinkings, sure. and uh, there was one about uh, uh, that we have to strive for the beauty of the of my hometown. So. Um, uh, how do you think that your methodology, let's call it like philo philosophy of working, uh, can be applied in other contexts where maybe the way of thinking and uh, uh, of course where your energy is affected because uh, 
it's uh, which are the challenges that you that you meet when you go outside your natural context of Yilan or maybe out of Taiwan also. <laughs> Well, can you do project in Italy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, well, you know, the lectures is uh, sometimes misleading. <laughs> the, when we are, you know, the, the quality of what we, we eventually need to, need to prepare for the people to use, need to need to well at least a little bit advanced which means i need to do research very deeply it means like it takes time so what i learned is 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 use my body to 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 try to really go into that culture or go into the place it means like recently i'm going i we also mr wang in, in the end of the match, the, the city mayor invited us to Shindu, which is a city a lot of wind. So, so I already spent three years to, to understand that how the beauty or the, the or like very deeply different about the, the geo, geo, geology and the geography, all of the things in Shindu. Means like, uh, so when we do all of the decision, we leave it more open possibilities there so well i will say like uh, it's just it's really needed to dedicate the the love about the the the, the, the really beautiful things touch me for example like uh, in in shinzu i really i really feel some something is I, I think the i think the wind is it's really Kind of a dominate condition, but I, I, I still, I, I still need to spend more time. So, so, so answer your questions. If, is that possible? We go to other places. It's definitely, uh, we we need to facing the challenge. Otherwise, we possibly also made a mistake. Like we think about and understand Ilan, possibly not true. For example, like uh, go through the the European touring exhibition, we know at least uh, five or six different countries, people at, um, in face, spend uh, like uh, almost a month together. And uh, we, we, I, I beginning to understand our hometown more. It means like uh, go to Alex, I beginning to, I beginning to know, I beginning to, to also, also, suspect what I think is true or not. So 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 which is helpful. So 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 we if we if I'm healthy enough, have mm -hmm. energy enough and that uh, my friends could go together with me and uh, I feel not lonely enough that it's like a, if we could if we could uh, uh, like uh, allow more people to to try new places, I think it's healthy. But I will say I always will feel like, uh, why not to to encourage the local people there, especially the young generation people, because they they are more far far more earlier leading because they already they already know there. So if, if we could make him friends, like uh, not only learn from them but also we learn from each other. Possibly, they their design. Could be much better, and uh, but the, but it, we are not consuming the design. It's more like um, uh, try to set more fundamental, uh, like a different uh, play, uh, uh, how to say the, the platform for for more people to 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 make it more things. That's that's what I what, what I the, I always I, I, we are we are being invited by many many places. I never say it's impossible because to to be open is is, is very important. But okay. but compared with the local people there, I always feel they do they do better, but just they don't know. So so sometimes we need to 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 generate more issues and, uh, and discuss. Thank you. Thank you.
Right, it's always about uh, sharing and uh, learning from each other. So uh, we are really looking forward to learn more from you uh, yes, later this year when the book will be out to uh, physically meet and uh, discuss more about these uh, interesting issues. Yeah. You want to... Uh, you know, it's funny. Well, every time Alex asks me questions like uh, he's doing the interview to me, but I always feel so surprised because I never imagined some people will ask this kind of question. The question is totally out of my imagination. So that's, that's, uh, no, you're not alone. I'm the same 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 being. Yes. So that book must has a lot of new secrets we never talk about in Taiwan. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you I have a, a question for, for Mr. Wang. Um, since uh, your profile is very mixed, uh, so you work from curatorial projects to uh, projects of urban development, um, I was wondering, and, and you know, now in the discussion of how we learn from one situation and maybe uh, apply that to another situation. Uh, how often do you manage to cross feed your curatorial projects into your development projects and vice versa? <laughs> you know, the, the, you need to explain your job. Yeah. Because your job is very special. Uh, the, you, 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 know, you, you, your question is very, uh, you know, dangerous. <laughs> No, the, you know, the point is that, you know, uh, you know, I should be some kind of, uh, uh, you know, academic uh, uh, per person, you know, you know, because I have a PhD, I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I work in the school. So I should write a book in my, on my, you know, on my desk. But, but I just cannot, you know. <laughs> you know, I like to see around and uh, to to know wh what what you know you know what people is, the, is, is you know uh, you know what they are doing. So I just walk around and find find there are so many people people, people there doing you know so uh, uh, so many. You know, you know, good thing. So, so I just want to, I just want to uh, uh, help them. So I, I do, do this kind of uh, uh, consultant job to the government. And you know, on the other hand, you know, uh, uh, you know, I like to help my 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 friends to be uh, famous. <laughs> so I'm. So 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 I become a uh, 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 curator, yeah. And and I think uh, you are right. You know, I'm uh, sometimes I have a problem of uh, confusion and you know you know what I'm do, do, doing now. But uh, uh, for me, I mean, it's fun. So 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 I think I will keep uh, doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I just, uh, since, since we have no more questions from the audience, I just want to ask one more question uh, before we close this session. Uh, first, I want to thank you very much again. Um, and I guess my question is quite a broad question, um, which has in some way been sort of answered in parts, but maybe we can go a little bit more in depth into this. Um, so during the, the lecture uh, or the presentation, um, I thought it was really nice how you explained yourself for us to be able to understand your architecture. So what was your personal trip throughout your lifetime um, and how this engaged uh, with what you are today and what you are producing today. Um, and, you know, this concept of freedom that you were looking for and at some point you said you, you hadn't found the freedom that you were searching for abroad. And so in some of your projects, you start to find slowly this freedom, um, which I think in some way is socially, environmentally, and culturally sensitive. 
Um, and I was wondering if you could give us maybe some of the keys to this freedom that you designed for. And I know that you, you had some ideas in the presentation. So there was this creativity, this idea of making friends. Um, but if you could sum that up uh, for us um, and maybe help us find our freedom as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do want to end and then I let you. I read something that he wrote a few years ago. Okay. Because like he sometimes he also likes to write uh, and I found something which is very nice. And I think it talks about uh, freedom. Uh, for the second that I need to find it. One second, I want to find the phrase. Now you might, yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you, you yeah, find it. He wrote a test, a text which is called in 2005, Free City. And in Free City, right, this is our city. We call it freedom. And the pride of it would, that, would be that the inhabitants can freely choose to enter and exit at their own will. We are free not to leave, but we are free to stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the real freedom is about to stay, it's not about to leave yeah. and go away. So I think this is like a, a very special thing. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's the term actually I, I copied from a, from a Disney cartoon. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? When I, when I, when I, and, and the, and the, but I think it's lovely because I, I, I watched the movie with my daughter and, uh, and the day I need to fly to China to give them a lecture in the expression. And I feel so sad about the, the condition, you know, you know, in, in China, just in the Chinese New Year, so thousands, thousands, millions of people need to go back home and they're in a very dangerous way. So, so at that moment, I really feel like, uh, wow, why the, the, maybe the simple life and, the, and the, it's, it's to, it could give us a lot of time to, to do really important things. That's, that's a little bit dangerous and uh, I go to China to talk about freedom. But, uh, but now reason actually they in the, well, is that, I'm, I'm, I'm already in danger. <laughs> and, oh, so the, so actually, uh, the presentation we, we sh the all the slides we put on the screen, basically is already built. Means like the most of the projects already, we spent the time more than ten years. So it means like uh, you definitely could possibly curious about what we are doing now, because because these ten years what we we are doing heaven heaven coming to the you know heaven to be built but uh, but uh, it's really in my my real life you know the life is uh, in in many different part, uh, aspects like my my real my body life and uh, what we eat and, and some of the work and uh, and the reason i think recent if you want to say what i we i'm struggling for maybe could inspire people in the past 10 years, we, we've a little bit like uh, Alex said, um, we are do, we try to do something nobody do, and but now we, we already have the technique, you know the, uh, the confidence about the 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 the, the quality of the, the the design. So we're beginning to challenge to try to leave more emptiness for the future. It means mm -hmm. like, uh, maybe just like I'm swimming every day in the morning, it's give me a time of a uh, blank, just nothing happened. It means like uh, in the past 10 years, we, we already get involved with uh, four different county. We, we at least keep, at least keep more than, more than 100 acres for each county. Uh, do not be be 
designed or, or like it to be limited to be kind of uh, urban use. So for example, we make a, a almost empty park in Chelsea and also the sand dune empty area with uh, in the on the coast and the, the in the middle of Ilan city we 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 made a new campus only one floor it means just like the the height of the the the, the building just like one floor just like a grass that means like a, we we try to <laughs> kill the original plan uh, you know try to try to fail the original planning to make them to to but it's kind of postpone postpone the, the speed the of of all the developing which possibly makes somebody angry but i i can feel from from people's eye i know more people support you know in this kind of internet society we know we are getting support because we're talking for more people what they really need for example like uh, nobody wants a new theme park people more want our children in the future could easily go into the earth without shoes play in the water only the dirt not without any facilities so it means like a uh, uh, field office as an architect's firm we struggle we struggle for for making good design to leading the government or the the entrepreneur to to support we we only build part very minimum portion of the land to leave the land for the future which i feel like possibly we are we are doing something we never regret in the future is that can I, is that okay? so i think I, it's, a, it's my sincere answer it's also a question and challenge for me also so your your key to freedom is to ensure the freedom of future generations i guess in some way if we are, if we made a mistake hopefully they have ability and uh, space to to change it to, to, to correct it okay thank you very much um so that was wonderful it was it's been a pleasure to to share uh, your approach and your experiences uh with us today um, and I'd like to uh, give you a virtual round of applause um, on my behalf, on, on behalf of everyone who's Thank been here. Hope uh, to see you in Barcelona soon. Yeah. We hope to see you in Barcelona soon and possibly also in Taipei or Iluan. Yes, okay, good. Yes, yes. Project Live. So thank you very much for today and I hope you. <laughs> thank you. Do you, do you. Do you see the flag? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. 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 B